Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner and our hard mode series. We are going to jump straight in and get moving. <laughs> if I can keep it moving. Uh, today we are off uh, moving gas to start with. We've got a pet, pet bull, a petrol tank that we want to move. Uh, just slightly. It sounds petty but just slightly need to move it. And then we are heading off into... But we're going to do that in Island Lake. And then from Island Lake, we're going to head into Drummond Island. And I don't know, I think I'll leave. I might, might move that fuel, fuel trailer as well. But then, um, then, then we're going to try and do the uh, delivery from the, the crashed ship. That's what we're going to try and do. Finally got there, got out what we were, what we were planning. I, uh, yeah, I anticipate this being an absolute <laughs> balls up today, but we've got to go with it, it's got to get done. I know uh, one or two of you will be uh, looking forward to be tackling a, a more challenging task. We've had a few easier ones and, you know, just some logistical stuff, so time to crack on. Plus, you know, we get this done, we, we get our cement order done then we get our, our final large um, order supreme or whatever it is super order get that done and then we're on to delivering logs which is going to take us a few episodes still down but then we're done here so we've got the, the three challenges i believe still to do here but they, they shouldn't take too long we can probably set them up a little bit so we can do one then one then one that sort of thing I don't want to get ahead of myself. We need to uh, we need to get there, don't we? Which means picking off the jobs I don't necessarily like having to do. Getting this through compared to getting the uh, the twin stair through is just worlds apart. And again, I am recording this just before we need it. I managed to get the other one uploaded and uh, I think it finished rendering about 20 minutes before I needed it. Or finished processing on YouTube's end, sorry. About 20 minutes before it needed to go live, so. That's, uh, that's not too bad. Hopefully, this one will be the same. Should be get some streams in this week as well. All going well. There you go, let's get up there. Get on the turf. It'll probably feel strange for a little bit once we get to Alaska. Just you know, hopefully, yeah, uh, in some different trucks every every now and then, every once in a while. the lake let's go so this might seem silly but all I want to do is turn that round and bring that right next to the entrance because I 
can't remember exactly where the wood's going when we deliver it. Or where the, where the other orders are going, so... I just don't want to have to arrive here out of fuel. And be fannying about with it. take out the fence and the bin so I don't tend to worry about that sort of thing. I know some people do. But I don't. <laughs> we'll have it. So I wasn't sure. I couldn't see like the obviously the number was on the screen, but I couldn't see the green bill. I was like, "Ooh, is that bugged out on me?" That's an, hasn't gone wrong, has it? To be fair, it's probably already right in the way now, but <laughs> we'll see. We'll see when we come through. Give it a little nudge. Yeah, you know, in all fair, I probably could have pulled that right through, but then we'd have to come come back and back again, like multiple times. Actually, let's not go that way. We've not got a trailer on, so through the locking yard will actually be quicker. So I hope you're well. Thank you for joining me again as I trundle about in the mud. As always, appreciate the continued support on the series. Let me get these, get these jobs done. Let's get the logging done, and we're, we're moving on. And then I feel like we're, we're progressing. This is like 30, 39, 40, something like that episodes. It's quite a lot. Easily got another. 12, I think, probably. So we're not quite there yet. Just, I'd love it if I could get a bit of time so I could record. <laughs> like three or four. If I could do three or four, two or three days in a row. Really push it out on the, uh, on the schedule. That would be nice. I'd say originally when I did it, I, I, I was... <laughs> I was so pretty optimistic, thinking I was going to be able to release, you know, an episode a day, but we've been nowhere near that. And I do apologise for that. Apologies for any noise you can hear. It's a bit hot this evening, and um, people are racing up and down the main road. So that happens. I think it's bikes. Nice, nice sunny evening. Bikes come out, but it is too hot to have myself shut in. And again, the little man might make a little bit of noise in the background. He's still not settling great, but. He's, he's having an early night with his mum, they're already, already in bed, so he's fine. If you do hear him, he's not ignored. I always say in case you can pick it up, I don't think we have picked him up yet in the background, but the day that I don't cover it will be the day that he is, and I don't want anyone saying, hmm, what will about that baby? He's fine, I've been looking after him all day. Now, this fuel trailer... I don't think we're going to need to come this far. So we might take this through. 
into... into Drummond with us. I think we're gonna we'll be fine with the field that's in in the um in the other in the other trailer. In the big one. So only we're so slow in low plus. You know, it's the sensible thing to do though. It's but we just trundle them through with fuel. Let's get our jolly move on. Get jolly's on me. Him out here, so you'd have to be careful. I'm surprised as well we didn't get any uh, any stuck run again last time because <laughs> once again I'd left another game running in the background. I was checking something on oh there oh dear it's a naughty tree. I was checking something on farm sim and I think I windowed out rather than exited the game. Yeah we, we managed that quite well. But the PC's been put through its paces with things like that in the past. My uh, eldest son last year would often sneak through into Daddy's computer room and upload like nine, ten apps and games all running at the same time. It would get like a sauna. I think they never bricked at once. So, pretty good. Just click on everything on the screen. I'm trying to launch Spider-Man normally. the better route. I'm 
we should have, other than to do, I think, probably some log drop-off. That's what we'll come up this way for, but we'll, we'll have we'll have fuel elsewhere as we come through. So we're going to leave fuel up here. Because it's mainly gateway entrances. That's, that's a good spot to have it, so you've got enough fuel to get you through the map. I can't even recall if we bring logs into Drummond or not, but I'm not sure that we do. I think we come and collect some logs here maybe. Or we could deliver it. Do, do we do all our logs from uh, two logging sites probably? Because the long logs have to come from Black River. I think that's the only long log site. And then we can do mediums from like everywhere else. But to use all of them would mean you now moving the whole operation about. So we're gonna to have to have a truck that's got fuel, a truck that's doing the, the log loading, and a truck obviously that's hauling the logs. It's a lot of vehicles to keep moving about again. How I'm thinking about approaching it is doing it rather than a job at a time, a map at a time. So we, we do all the jobs, all the log jobs in Black River, all the log jobs in the dam and then you know, the lakes. And Drummond, that's, that's sort of where my mind's at for that. Probably starting with long logs, do all the long logs first. But because then that's out of the way, you know, do all the mediums, because there's more of that to do. I didn't like that. I'm not sure if I'm liking that. Come on. I want to have at least a little bit of daylight for this job when it comes. Apologies if the audio keeps ch keeps changing. I'm having to move out the way of the glare of the sun. I think normally in the evening when I come and record, if I have the curtain open, the, the sun has, has normally passed by my window this evening. It's right on it. I might have to get up and shut that in a minute. 
because that'll be my excuse for failing on something, glaring the right eye. Gonna pop it next to this one for now. This will pro probably pull them through together. Shall we feel myself? Just the right way, yep. Yeah. How much of that can we put in there? Oh, all of it. We don't need it. Excellent. That was not excellent because it means we've used so much more. <laughs> oh, there. I think by the time, by the time I've finished, I'm not even going to have one um, full semi-trailer. <laughs> <Just, laughs> oh there, this has all gone so wrong on the fuel, on the fuel front. Oh well. And we'll probably be using the uh, the P well we will be using the P16 for the long logs and most likely the White Western for the mediums. So I think the, the fuel is all right with the White Western. We're certainly going to approach. Alaska a little bit different. I say that, probably, you know, you'll fix up pretty quick, but I want to try and do it a little bit different from what we've done here. Let's make sure we've got the right jaw on now. And it is cargo from the ship. So we've got to deliver two oversized cargo from the uh, the shipwreck. Like I say, this one can be a bit naughty. It really can. Few months back, I was doing this on a on a completely different save, and I because I always I've always done it either with uh, the White Western or the DLC truck. I'm probably one of the Western Western stars because, like I say, I do like using a Westie. So on a different save, like I say, I've got while I was trying it with different different vehicles, different trailer combinations, and stuff like that. It, it just didn't work. Like, no matter what I tried, it didn't like it. I tried doing it with the twin stair. Trying to get the twin stair through this route well, it was absolutely ridiculous. Um, but I thought I'd give it a try. And uh, had an ANK. And I just think the ANK was, was trying to give it too much. Had less control. tried uh, the P-16 with a different trailer on and that's just too big <laughs> to like it. And the turn and circle that we have to work with at the other end here is uh, awful.
you know, I'm, I'm experienced in this job. It's just, you know, it's just one of those ones. We, we all have particular jobs that either we don't like or don't like us or that we struggle with and this is one of mine. There'll be others that love this job. Sadistic people they are. <laughs> so we need to pick up from here. So we really want to do what you want to do, sir. Let's try and turn ourselves around. Which is never all that fun. Again, I've never found like perfect way to do it. Just always get bogged down. Um, is there anything at the back there? Oh, there is. Of course, there is. It's all the wrong side. Right. This is where I start to get a little bit frustrated with it. Nothing. Shouldn't have come down. Should not have come down here. And absolutely nothing to winch on to, but any <laughs> near my points apparently. Oh, that's mad. Right, you. Well, I've never got stuck down there like this before, but then again, this is hard mode where anything can happen that never happens normally. I just find it so annoying. Even about that tax, I'm not going to go anywhere. Never gotten stuck down here. I've never not got out of this. This is this is maddening, absolutely maddening. Right. That won't reach over there. That one can. You are joking me. You have got to be joking. I just don't get that. Keep moving, just keep moving. Absolutely insane. Craziness. Well, 
Again, I never just never had this. Come down. Normally. Yeah, it's just gonna I'm not gonna be able to get that reconnected again. Come down, drive into the mud, reverse up, and then go up the hill. That's what I do. That's what I've always done. So naturally, today, can't get out of the mud at all. That's, that's crazy. I've never, never been bogged in here. Right, yeah. Well, it looks like we've got to go get another truck to uh, get us out of here. We just, the engine is off, it? which is just mad. Absolutely mad. Oh, dear. All right, to the dam. And it'll have to be... The Fleet Star. So annoying. Oh, where are we facing the wrong way? What's the point in me bringing this through? I brought this through from from an island. So let me just waste some fuel. Waste some fuel. So, not in a million years would I think I'd get that stuck there. Infuriating. <laughs> twelve. It must be easily twelve times I've done that job. Never got stuck down there. Alright, where's the shortcut? Shortcut, I think it is. I think, and this is just you know, the only thing that I do different from any previous playthroughs is the uh, Jack of All Treads tyres. Now me and me and um, Baz, Rusty have uh, sort of touched on this before on the live streams because obviously the Jats are supposed to be better than the, the base games. But we're finding that on many of them, because the tread doesn't come round on the side wall as much as maybe some of the other tyres that you you don't sort of lift up over the mud you just sort of dig into it and that's that's obviously what's happened there and I think that's what's happened on a couple of other occasions where we've sort of struggled in the mud we just cut into it probably should have gone and grabbed uh, the bricks from wherever that we'd have to deliver up here as well because it ticked off that job but I was more frustrated about this like it's just the fuel that we've used to get down to that point and the fuel we're using to get back it's just a waste of fuel we're going exactly where we came from two, two episodes ago it's just I'm going to have to be careful because the Fleet Star has got exactly the same tyres on. I think. Star to the rest. Yeah, we 
not gonna unless by some miracle not gonna get this this job completed are we not today at the moment we just hope we can get the bloody truck out <laughs> let's not worry about the cargo deliveries be like two days with no income and lots of fuel expenditure. And also having to do this means, you know, it's going to be at least one more truck that's having to go through this already muddy, boggy terrain that, that's going to give us a bit of jip at the start. Because it's just getting out of that first area where you pick the cargo up from. Once you get through the um, the little the little ford, once you get through that, you're all right. Just that that first like five or six <laughs> five bends, maybe a bit of a killer. By Jove, we've lit these maps. Some of this though. There we on silent because I'm sulking. <laughs> Bloody love this fleet star. Perhaps we should be used to the fleet style. It's nimble and agile. Yeah, turn a little bit better in in the flat space at the top. That might actually because the reason you go down, or that I have to go down, is that I struggle to get the the westy turned at the top. I should imagine the very first time I did that job, I, I did do it with the uh, the Fleet Star as well, because I did everything for the Fleet Star way back when. This is where we tip the fleet star. <laughs> I'll get you up there.
really don't want to be chewing this up any more than already is. See, there's not space to turn the uh, the White West and, and that trailer. It just isn't. Still not wanting to move for me, is it? This isn't even wanting to do its own thing now. What on earth is going on here? Come on. Will not, will not budge with me powering it. That's insane. to uh, grab the side of the trailer, really. Oh, now it wants to go. Right, how about... Because I've still got to turn the bloody thing around. <laughs> go left. Oh, God. That's the bloody trailer. Winch. Nothing to attach to. To attach to. Of course, it's not going to drive itself out, is it? Why would I do that? What an 
absolute disaster this is. Trailer couldn't be pointing in the worst direction if I tried. I'm going to get it to turn around. Why? I don't know how I've gotten in this mess. Because it's never done this before. It just does not make sense. It really doesn't. Run that fuel. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. and everything's stuck now. Yeah, let me come. Oh dear, right. <laughs> Come on. Let's push the trailer. Let's push it. <laughs> okay. This is how everyone does it, right? I'm trying to swear.
At least we can have our cargo. Oh dear. Right. Thanks. This is not going to go well, is it? <laughs> we can just move out the way a little bit, Mr. Green Star. Just a little bit, mate. What's the time? <laughs> That's five. Oh dear. Do we can reach the fuel point? Can we get some fuel before we uh, end the day? The start angle was appalling. Oh, so this is not going to go well. Just got to hope it doesn't roll. Let it set itself. Now, not to jinx it, from here on now, this should be easy. This is where we have to go get the next one, because there's two of these. <laughs> Man. I tell you what, Captain Perseverance, that's me. It's used over half a tank doing that. Half a tank, because we filled up before we went over there, so half a tank. Turn that bloody truck around. Let's not the truck to turn the trailer around. Yeah. I'll be uh, booting up a different save later. Get the White Western, putting on this trailer, and driving there and trying to turn it around. See if it gives me the same trouble. Because I've never had that, that issue before. Never got stuck like that. Not in there.
this wants you to turn off the diff just before. I think I've covered this floor just as you're about to hit. And even the diff. just around the corner. Losing my voice. I think I've had that for a while. refuel 92 litres left out of 300 oh my gold and uh, we shall yeah we'll leave that there we shall <laughs> we'll head through with this load then come back for the second one and we'll, we'll get the second one done next time we, I don't know what we're going to do with turning around that's going to be a nightmare but hopefully <laughs> you enjoyed that one it's just nuts any any not that i need it now we've done it um we've got one more to go but yeah better advice for the white western than that long trailer like i said I've, I've done it many times before i've driven down there before i normally go out and uh, then back up into where the big stones where i went the second time back back into the stones and then drive up and grab my load i have on occasion gone down and turned into the stones and then backed and then gone up i've never gone down there and just stopped in the mud <laughs> never done that before anyway yeah hopefully you enjoyed it if you did give it a big fat thumbs up down below if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button turn the bell notification on find out when new videos go live as always comments and feedback down there you guys have a wonderful time and i shall get back to this one as soon as possible bye for now